You, you came here because somebody manipulated you. If you can win against me, I will tell you the secret. Okay, well you better get ready to tell me because there's no way you're going to beat me. Just saying. Ooh, Sandal. Ooh, not a good start for you, buddy. Not a good start for you at all. Nice. Uh, next up, you're sending out Scraggy. Let's bring out... Hmm. Actually, no, let's stick with Palpatine. Swagger. Not ideal. Ah, of course it hit you. Ah, but at least it was short lived. Okay, so that's good. Well, at least your attack stats has been given a nice big boost, so... You know what? We'll keep you around, Palpatoad, and I'm going to have you use Bulldoze. Nice! <laughs> Thanks for giving me the attack stat boost there, um, Team Plasma. Nice! Sigilith is now level 30. Ah, I can't believe I lost! You better believe it, buddy. Getsis of the Seven Sages supports our king, and Getsis has three subordinates. They are the Shadow Triad. Yeah, I kind of already met them, so... I have no surprise there. Uh, also, seeing as I am quite close to the Doctor, I might as well heal my Pokemon, although, of course, every time I have to move back, I had to annoy... Uh, I had to get annoyed by all these Pokemon encounters in this bloody cave. It does feel like Pokemon encounters do seem to be a little bit more... I don't know, they seem to happen a little bit more often in this cave. Maybe it's just me, but... Like, literally, just one step away from the Doctor, I get encountered... I just... I have another Pokémon encounter. That's like... Like, come on now, game. Give me a break. I don't want to waste all of my bloody Super Repels. And besides, I still don't know how far this cave we've got left to go, so... I kind of want to preserve them until the Pokémon encounters get a little bit too annoying. If I win against you, release your Pokemon. Yeah, good luck with that request, buddy. Hmm, just the one Pokemon, which will be a high, a fairly high level Scraggy, but should still be all right for Palpatode. So Bulldoze did not do as much as I thought, so let's try Muddy Water instead. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> Plasma! I'm mortified! <laughs> I don't understand. Your Pokemon seem to be happy next to you. Exactly. And that's why I will never support what you want to do, Team Plasma. Pokemon living in this charred stone cave are so beautiful because they are free from people. I mean, in some ways I kind of get it in a way, you know. Have a world like Pokemon are able to live free on their own, but at the same time, people and Pokemon can live happily together. So there's always like the best of both worlds. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna stick with Palpatine. I kind of, I kind of want to train up Palpatine a little bit. Can I use Pursuit? I mean, that's fine. 
Nice, that'll make your speed fall. Is it enough to let make me go first? It is, it is actually enough. Okay, nice. Oh, and you're so close to level 33. Okay, I think as soon as you hit level 33, I'm probably going to switch to another Pokemon. Oh, right, so it's bad for me to use them, but good if you use them. Yeah, get the hell out of here, Plasma. Oh, but before I battle another Plasma, i got to encounter yet another Joltik. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised that we're encountering a lot of Joltik, because they're tiny, so, there's so this whole cave is probably just, just filled with just endless amounts of Joltik. You, you are the trainer that my Lord N is worried about. That's right. Don't forget my face now. <laughs> Ah, oh, sending out another Trubbish. But you're, you're using three Pokemon, so they are going to be a little bit lower level. And they would be, so this should be nice, quick, easy battle for you, Palpatode. Yep, another Trubbish. Let's just keep on going with the Bulldoze. Add one more to seal the level up. There we go, perfect. Level 33. Ooh, you want to learn Rain Dance? Mm, that could come in handy. Uh, but I'm not going to for now. Okay, I think we're done training um, Palpatoad for now. Let's switch it up and train up. Hmm. I mean, I've got Crocker Rock with me, but I don't know if, if I am actually going to keep it around on my team for too long because I've already got a ground type Pokemon with me. Having a dark type Pokemon as well might be all right if I encounter like, like any Pokemon trainers with psychic type Pokemon, but I don't know. I don't know if I plan to keep it around for too long, uh, Crocker Rock. That's what kind of Pokemon we encounter, so I think based on that. Maybe I should train up Daramaka a little bit. Even though you might be a little bit weak against some of these uh, other Pokemon. So I'll tell you what. Uh, Sigilyph. Actually, while I'm doing all these changes, maybe just change the screens. There we go. Tell you what. Let me just do a quick bit of... Bit of a change. Let's train up... You know, maybe I should just train up my superior for a bit. And, uh, not Palpatodes, Daramaka. Uh, I know I just gave you the charcoal earlier on in this session, but I kind of want to change it and give you the experience share instead. Yep. So, train you up a little bit. Go back to Superior. And I think that will do nicely. Okay, that should do us nicely. As a proud member of Team Plasma, I will gladly battle with you. Well, I'll gladly battle you. And I'll gladly annihilate you. Also, I've not been using Superior that much since you evolved, so you know what? Let's actually use you for a few more battles until we get out of this cave. Oh, that's a nice bit of experience points there for uh, Daramaka. Definitely do want to try and train you up a little bit. Because I know you can evolve, but I can't remember what level you evolved. But something's telling me it might not be too far off. As a proud member of Team Plasma, what was with that hesitation there? <laughs> 
Okay, oh, looks like I have to put on the, the repel. Yep, it's a, it's yet another Joltik. Okay, these Joltik encounters are getting really annoying now. So tell you what, I didn't really want to use this, but uh, you've left me with no choice. Uh, where is it? Super repel. There we go. Use and. Yep, looks like there's no hidden items, so that's fine. Push you this way. Uh, ooh. Oh, hang on. Aha, there's something here. A thunderstone. Yeah, you weren't going to make me go up. You, you weren't going to let me... Well, I wasn't going to uh, not, you know, ignore this. <laughs> going to Totally going to check it out before we left. The Hopa Team Plasma. Well, that has nothing to do with you. But this battle, though, oh, this definitely has something to do with me. I will gladly beat you. Ooh, one Pokemon. Okay, is it any good? Eh, it's a Lipod. I reckon one Leaf Blade should be enough. Certainly is. Nice. Hey, what was that? You're too strong. Ugh. Yep. The Hope of Team Plasma. We know our king will lead us. He will free the Pokemon. You release your Pokemon and stop being a trainer. Um no. No, I'm not gonna do that. Alright, I will totally show you my strength. Also, it looks like it's going upstairs that we need to continue, not downstairs. Alright, I think we need to uh, backtrack a little bit before uh, we head uh, on further through this cave. Also, this cave is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be a nice short walk through, but no, it is actually a much bigger cave than I thought it was going to be. Which is fine. I'm totally okay with a nice... Uh, big cave to explore around. And you're going to bring out a Watchhog. Yeah, this is the thing with Team Plasma. They always seem to use the same Pokemon. Just no variety with these guys. Just use the same old Pokemon. Well. well I appreciate that you at least acknowledge that... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm good with uh, Pokemon battling. Right, what's down here? Uh, well, it seems to be going out of the way a little bit here. I think we're heading back to the entrance to where we were, which is totally not where we want to go, but at the same time, I also did not want to miss out on battling uh, uh, this person. Level 30 drill, but okay. Yeah, this might actually be good for experience. <laughs> drill looked a little stunned there when I uh, hit it with the, uh, with the leaf blade. Ooh, 31. Good stuff. Uh, next I'll be setting out Zep Striker. Yeah, you know what? Let's switch Pokemon for a bit. And let's bring out... Yeah, let's bring out Palpatoad. Because as I said, I think... Even though I do like Crocorock and, and its uh, evolved form, I'm probably not going to use it too much simply because, I mean, I'm going to be using Palpatoad for a little while because you're obviously part water type and also part ground type. So two types in one's definitely going to be uh, helpful to me. But mind you again, obviously Crocorock's two types in one. You know, dark type and ground type, but at the moment I don't really have an urgent need for um, dark type Pokemon. I've not really encountered any Pokemon. I've not really encountered too many psychic type Pokemon right now. And I'm not entirely sure if any upcoming gym is like, like psychic themed. I don't think it is. I don't think any are. So, I'm not sure. 
Anyway, let's see where this goes. So this goes... Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I am. I'm really... I'm getting lost in this place. I think I seem to be going even further away than I want to. Um, yeah. Um, so I think if I went up the stairs, I would have, like, continued battling against all the Team Plasma. But now I've gone this way, I seem to be going down a completely different route. Oh, well, speaking of uh, Psychic-type Pokemon... Oi! How dare you frisk, frisk me for a Miracle Seed? Give that back! <laughs> Give me back my, my Miracle Seed! There we go. Yeah. Nice use of the critical hit there. Ooh, Ducklet. Uh, let's switch Pokemon to Zep Striker. Yeah, this Ducklet has... Hmm, let's think. Absolutely no chance of surviving this. Yep. And next up, you're sending out Lilligant, or Lilligant. Lilligant? Lilligant? And in all honesty, I kind of forgot what kind of Pokemon you are, so I'm just going to just use Sigilyph and just hope I've not made a terrible decision. Ooh, I made the right decision. All right, Air Cutter it is then. I was going to say I'm actually kind of surprised you survived that, but then again, you are level 29, so you're not that much stronger than me. Uh, I'll just use a side beam. I think that'll be enough. Okay, you keep on using Teeter Dance. Oh, oh wait, that's a different move. Oh, come on. No, don't start this again. Quiver Dance. Okay, so you know two different dances. Okay, so you have Quiver Dance and Teeter Dance. Huh. Interesting. Come on, Sigilith. Oh, come on, Sigilith. Come on, don't disappoint me now. Hey, there we go. Oh, damn, that's a lot of experience points. Man. Learn synchronize. What is synchronize? Using an odd shockwave, the user inflicts damage on any Pokemon of the same type in the area around it. Oh, okay. Like, I'm guessing in a double or a triple battle? Okay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, forget Psywave. Because honestly, I don't really use Psywave apart from earlier on, just for the heck of it. So, you know what? Well, might as well teach you Synchronize. Could be useful. Huh? There we go. Uh, so there's nothing down there. So we've got an item here. A hyper potion. And that moved very quickly. So that tells me there's probably something in the wall here. There is a star piece. Okay. Uh, did this go anywhere? Oh, actually, it sort of does, actually. Oh, this item. A rare candy. Yeah, I am going to assume this is a dead end. Uh, Repel's effect wore off. I need to use one more. And I've only got that one more, so once that's gone, we're going to go back to annoying Pokemon encounters. I'm just hoping this little area is not too, um, too big. Where does this go? This goes... Oh, just to an item. Bright powder, okay. In the items case. I think I know what that does, but I'm gonna have a look at it later. Okay, so this is a dead end, but some interesting items and uh, a few people to battle against. I'm glad I made the uh, the diversion now. Okay, uh, ooh. 
choices in which way we want to go. Okay, that's where N is. I don't want to go that way just yet. I want to explore a little bit more of this cave. I want to solve all the mysteries in the world. For that purpose, I will keep fighting. All right, then. Solve all the mysteries of the world. Orville, let's see what kind of Pokemon you're using. You're also using Clink. Which, hmm, I think I might have to bring out another Pokemon instead. You know what, let's try, let's, let's try Darumaka. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, use Fire Punch and I'm hoping, yes, hit the Pokemon. Because now I'm worried that pretty much any kind of attack I try to make Darumaka use is going to have a chance of missing. Although it says, what was the, the stat, what was the ability? It, it increases the attack stat at the expense of accuracy. I wonder if it only means like uh, the use of just physical attacks and whether using special attacks uh, is not affected by it. But then again, Daramaka's special stat Oh, we're back around here now. But Darumaka's special stat, if I remember rightly, is so low. Oh no, and the repels effects wore off. Okay, well, looks like we're just going to have endless Pokemon encounters because I am out of repels. Okay, so... Unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with uh, all the Pokemon encounters now, but I have a feeling we are getting close to the end of this cave now. Corky. Alright, Corky. Ace Trainer Corky. Wait, you're not Jimbo Jones in disguise, aren't you? I think I got that right, that Simpsons reference. From that one episode where I think uh, Bart tried to get, like, uh, signatures from people using, uh, like, um, his ch like, a checkbook he got in an early episode. Well, uh, like, signatures, uh, uh, by that I mean, like, with autographs to get Crusted Clown's, like, signature, if I remember rightly, or um, autograph. I think he said something like, Jimbo's real name is Corky. Pretty sure that's what I remember. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I last watched The Simpsons. Mainly because I just can't be bothered um, finding like the uh, the actual DVD and that particular season that episode was in. And I also don't have Disney+, Plus, so I can't get all of The Simpsons episodes right now. <laughs> Anyway, ooh, Tirtuga. The Pokemon I revived from a fossil. And kind of convenient, actually, because I kind of needed the health. Much appreciated, uh, Tirtuga. Nice, level 37. I feel down. Don't feel down. That was just better than you on the day. <laughs> I feel down only briefly. I am a trainer. If I give up, my Pokemon cannot do anything, right? There's the spirit. Oh, I really should have bought more repels. Oh, the Joltik are back. No. Oh, but I don't know if I could be bothered to, you know, exit the cave just to head to town just to get some repels. No, I think we'll just we'll 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 put up with it. Also, a magnet. Actually, you know what? I think this is a good time to see what some of these items I I've got to now. Or whether any use? Let's see. So we got a magnet, which is. Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, so that boosts the power of electric type moves. Bright powder. Okay, that is what I thought it did. Uh, lowers the opponent's accuracy. Uh, a star piece. I can sell the shop. Of course, Thunderstone. All those. So, okay, so that's uh, pretty cool. Alright. So, some more. Like, uh, Pokemon type, like, boosting items there. Right, okay, I think we're done. Pretty much, let's go through. Ah, that looks like the way out. Many different values mixed together, and the world becomes grey. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people. 
and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Uh, do you have a dream of my own? Uh, I do, actually. Uh, you have a dream. That's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. Fair enough. Oh, when you're starting with a bold orb, annoyingly, you're going to have the um, sturdy ability, aren't you? So, I'll just use Leaf Blade anyway. Why not? Yep, no surprise there. But, again, you're just going to waste your time by using Iron Defense. I don't even know completely pointless, but I'll just use Mega Drain because uh, I can't be bothered using my other moves. Didn't want to use Leaf Tornado because it has a slight chance of missing, I think. So, um, yeah, let's just get the guaranteed knockout there. Next start, you're going to send out Joltik. That's fine by me. Oh, Palpatote is a little weak, so I'll tell you what. Even though, as I said, I'm probably not going to be using you too much in the future, let's actually use Crocker Rock for a change. Team is too nervous to eat berries, that's fine, because I don't have any berries anyway, and I'll counter your uh, unnerve by uh, intimidating you, followed by a bulldoze. Ah, Ferris Seas. Okay. Now let's bring out Daramaka. Land that Fire Punch. Nice. Oh, that's going to hurt, isn't it, Ferris Seas? Okay, yeah, you hurt me a little bit, but not much, so, um, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Oh, and a clink as well? Yeah, let's stick with Daramaka. And let's see if we can get another Fire Punch to, uh, to land. Nice, okay. The game is actually in my favour for once. Despite your ability there, Daramaka. Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Ah, huh, interesting. Just a little further to Miss Dralton City. Also, I kind of forgot you were still in the cave. Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be di different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want? No matter whether the Pokemon suffer? Who says the Pokemon are suffering? People and Pokemon have lived together and worked together and, you know, battled together for such a long time. Unless... Unless there's a few, like, rotten people out in the world who just use Pokemon for tools and then end up, like... Well, actually, think about it in Team Rocket's case... For, Remembering from a Fire Red Let's Play, it potentially ends up, I think, even killing some of the Pokemon. Um, the vast majority of people definitely, like, you know, live together with, like, with their Pokemon, I'd say, in perfect harmony. 
I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Oh, and now he's walking off in a bit of a mood. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, <laughs> but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data. For Pokemon and people to get along better, we need to take steps to learn more about them. Okay then, fair enough. Alright, well, that's fine. Good luck uh, with that, um, Bianca. And with that, I think... We're out of the cave, and we've made it to Mistralton City! Oh, yes. So that means our next gym badge, uh, battle is not too far away. Oh, yeah, there's an airport round here, isn't there? Oh, we're, but we're going to have to have a proper look at this place later. Well, when I say later, I mean in the next recording session. So, let me just quickly heal my Pokeball before I forget. And end today's recording. But next time, we're going to have a little wander around this city. And possibly even uh, battle the next gym leader and get our sixth gym badge. Ooh, should be good. So, for now, thanks very much for watching, everyone. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.